Kerpix looks at the pitch band and her first pitch at 32 after the hour is in there for a strike. 1-1, one, one. this one out of the reach of Mosley at third, turning at first, heading to second, and she'll move in easily to second base with a stand-up double. 3-0 comes inside, close to grazing her there, but she'll walk. Two on, two out. High and the bases are loaded. 1-2 one, once again. Got her swinging for a called strike three. Kearney 385 here on the season. This one sent back up the middle for Georgia's first hit of the evening. Swung on, throw to second, not in time. But then the amount of rain, they wanted an extra half hour to get that rain out of here and also probably do a little field prep, throw to third, and she is out in a three-game set. Yeah, strike them out, throw them out there at first, two away. Two outs, the base is empty. Here's a ground ball to short. One, two, three, second inning here for Madison Kerpix. We head to the bottom half. Such a natural transition, I think, to Tony. Familiar. Everybody's always enjoyed him as Kuma swings and misses there for the strikeout. Getting pitches to hit. Probably going to be one of the bigger challenges for her. She swings and misses on the rise ball. Quarterback, the Chicago Bears. The one, two, swung on and missed for strike three. Three, two. That one will miss. <laughs> Three, two, swung on and missed, throw down to second. Ball's going to get away. A 3 1 walk. Three, two, and pull the string. Called strike three. Three, one. Swing and a miss for strike three. This one is sent to left. This one will find the wall. Getting waved around and coming home to score is Gordon. Throw at the plate. Believe called out. Home plate umpire was over at third, having to watch from the angle. Yeah, there was no umpire. That is home tough. For... I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think it's a matter of if she actually touched her. Yeah. If she did. I think she was definitely out. I don't know oh, if she, she – It doesn't look like she touched her I from that angle. I don't know she did. It looks like she came in right behind her. Hey, runner safe. Down out there on the outfield wall. Appeal to third base. Don Brown says she went. That's the, the saying. The green light is on. Yeah. In the dirt, getting away, throw to third laser throw to make it after that. And it's off that line. Bubble. Yeah. Three, two, swung on and missed for strike three. This one back up the middle, and this one will be a base hit. This one getting away to the backstop. Off to a bit of a slower start here this season. 3-1. That one misses for a ball. And FCA All-America Scholar Athlete as well. Popped up. There's an out for Georgia. That's a big one. Definitely not a lot of time there. What a catch! Able to get her glove up on such a quick moving ball. Well hit to left on the run and making the catch. Chamley keeping that thing at the end of her glove. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Kearney Kuma Mosley, we mentioned Lifted to right center. And just shy of the warning track, Clark will track it down. 1-0, that one just out of the reach of Armistead. And a good piece of hitting there by Maddie Moore. 2-2, Two -two, throw down to second. Tag applied. 3-2, ooh. Get the feeling this is a fairly pivotal moment in the game. 3-1, that one just misses. Swung on. And that'll do it. A little bit of confusion there. 
to end the, set, the fourth. So swing and a miss, there's strike three. And, and you see a very kind of up call, but then Clemson runs the bases here, which I think confused a little bit. 2-2 two, two to field. This one's well hit. This one will go left. A, bat, a, a runner into scoring position. Swung on and missed for strike three. Gordon's retired on strikes. The 2-1. Good night on the infield. Charging in is more, and that'll do it sometimes. He, he might be saying a word that you don't want someone to, to know that you're saying. Tough play over to first, and not in time. Now you go to back to the top of the order. You want to be careful here if you're Georgia. Bunted down the line and an easy tag out. Obviously, it's a lot for one pitcher to carry. If you can have everybody contribute, that certainly goes a long ways. This one out into outfield. Throw home. Going to be cut off, and Clemson's tied the game. Two out and a 2-2 count. Mackenzie Clark to the outfield. Able to punch it just over. Uh, Sydney Kuma's head right there. And then Clark's RBI single ties the game at one. That's one, two. Swung on and missed for strike three. But Clemson has tied the game. We head to the bottom of the six, knotted up at one. Three one goes high. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty ideal spot in terms of speed for that changeup. She'll drop this one into play, throw to first. Chambly is retired on the sacrifice, but that will move Digby into scoring position. Off the end of the bat, fielded cleanly there by Heller at first, and that'll do it for the Georgia threat in the sixth. And she'll lose her on the 3-0. Swung on and missed, throw down to second. Popped up on the infield. Lindy Ray Davis has climbed down to the dugout. This one well hit by Fields. This one's going to find grass in left center. It finds the wall. And Jaden Fields finds herself at second base with a stand-up double with one away. First pitch, Cagle was inserted in the lineup, swinging a miss for strike three. Two away. Back to the pitcher, quick reflexes. We'll go extras here in Athens. 2-2, two, two, rung her up. To the edge of the infield. Georgia, 10 strikeouts, 100 plus pitches now. Is this well hit? Good night, gonna find her way aboard. Well, maybe, hey, I'll give it a throw. And see where it goes as this one gets away. Good night will go to second. 2-2. Two, two. This one's lifted to left center. And a huge collision out in the outfield. Good night at third. Here's Kearney. Well hit to right field. And that'll do it. Georgia walks it off here in the eighth. An RBI single off the bat of Jada Kearney since Dallas goodnight home and sweet dreams for Georgia.